Hello everyone. In this video, we'll study how to solve problem on development of a lateral surfaces. Problem on a cone. A cone of 50 mm diameter of base and 75 mm height stands its base on HP. It is cut to the shape of truncated cone with its truncated surfaces inclined at 45 degree to the axis lying at a distance of 40 mm from apex of the cone. Obtain the development of a lateral surface of the truncated cone. First, I will draw the cone front view and top view. Cone of diameter is 50. Go to small dimension. Measure it as 50. Now the outer one I make it as a thick line. Point five. So I am going to divide a circle into some equal parts. The reason is when we draw a development, we need some of the points to draw a smooth curve. So I am going to divide in a using linear circular pattern. Otherwise, it will take time. Select the center of a circle and the radius line. I want 8 equal parts. We can type 8. Project to draw the front view. Then axis length is given 75. Then draw a line from all the corresponding sides. Similarly from other side as well. So if you want, you can thick the line, means continuous thick line. I'll do it after cutting. Now I need to pass a cutting plane. The cutting plane he has given at a distance of 40 mm from the apex point. So from apex point, you can measure it. Distance is 40 mm. So, in this, I need to pass a cutting plane. Cutting plane exactly passing at an axis center and angle is given 45 degree. Now go to extend entity, just extend the lines and one more time. Now select this line and change it to chain line and increase the thickness of it 0.5. So if you want you can show by thick line that is which is visible to you. I draw a line from here to here then from here to this line then the baseline I am just highlighting which is visible to you so now you draw a naming naming you can start from left to right or right to left since we pass a cutting plane exactly in the middle you will get 8 equal parts that is I will start node numbering from left to right One Similarly, this is your two point. Similarly, the three is in the middle. And similarly, fourth point. Then fifth, the end. Again, we need to come back. So, six, seven, eight. Six is behind four. You just double click the fourth point. You will get point number six same way 
point number seven that is behind three seven dash and point number eight that is behind two okay so we got one two three four five six seven eight so now I need to find an angle in the cone you have to remember a formula the formula is radius you can note down radius divided by length multiply by 360 so radius is diameter divided by 2 diameter is 50 radius will be 25 what is the slant length you need to measure it from the apex point to the one of the end so I'm getting around 79 almost 79 78.97 it's 79 so I'll open the calculator so you can calculate 25 divided by 78.97 multiply by 360 so angle is 113.96 angle is 113.96 okay so now i'll draw an uh, i'll do one thing i just draw one line randomly then i'll ascend the length of this that is 78.96 sorry 97 dry line go to smart dimension assign the length to seventy eight point nine seven okay now I need to divide into eight equal parts and we know the angle that is 113.96 the best way to go to circular pattern so under parameter select the one of the end and select the line give the side as we need eight equal parts but we need nine again you have to come back right one two three four and it has to back to one so total angle here is what 360 but you have to type it as 113 whatever the angle we got that is 113.96 say okay now you can see we divided into nine equal parts take a center line again starting point to the end point okay so you can cross check the angle by going to smart dimension can see it is 113.96 now measure the length from the apex point to the point number one that is 63.71 similarly measure all the points 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so before measuring you have to end the line to the one of the slant length slant length is 78.97 you can move point number two towards right side or left side because both the things are uh, what is similar similarly point number three it's already there i just move this line okay Similarly, point number four. Then point number five. Measure the length. Point number five is thirty one point six four. Similarly, point number four from the apex point. It is. 34.32 similarly point number 3 it 
it is 42.22 so last one that is point number 2 it's overlapping that we cannot help length should be required So now we'll start uh, arc length, go to small dimension, then arc method. The first point arc length is 63.71, 63.71. Second point arc length, it is how much? 55.04. I hope it is visible to you 55.04 similarly point number three from the end point to this one it is 42.22 42.22 similarly point number four it is 34.32 34.22 sorry 32 similarly point number 5 it is 31.64 31.64 so repeat the same procedure again point number 6 and up to 1 Point number six, it is at a distance of how much? It is thirty four point three two. Similarly, point number seven, it is at a distance of. 42.22 similarly point number 8 55.04 and last one that is point 1 it is 63.71 63.71 now I am going to use the spline line to join all the things to get a smooth curve it is 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 5 5 to 6 6 to 7 7 to 8 then back to 1 So we'll get a smooth curve and just increase the thickness to 0.5. So again I will take a line with increased thickness of 0.5. Just draw the end line. So this is the answer for the given problem cone. Thank you.